Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are going to be messing about a little bit more with this the NVIDIA Tesla K80 it's an older car it was produced back in 2014 the two Tesla cars that I have purchased for a fair amount on Amazon uh, they were actually made back in 2017 so they are about four years old they are refurbished and I have to thank my patrons who has uh, supported this buy if you want to support me on Patreon, well, there's two tiers. It's $1 or it's $3 a month. Okay, where were we? I ran out of space on my camera and had to delete some stuff. But yeah, Patreon, if you want to help support what I do, I'm very close to 200 patrons. So if you wouldn't mind help me to reach that goal, that would be awesome. You get an extra weekly video. And I uh, used the money to purchase stuff like this that we don't know if it's gonna be a good buy or not. This was suggested. Someone did think that this would be an awesome purchase for my servers. I do not disagree. They look awesome, but are they worth it? I found out in my last video that I didn't have the right power connectors for my servers. So um, this uh, graphics card uh, is a server graphics card and it uses an 8-pin connection but not a normal 8-pin connection. This cable goes from one standard to the other standard. If you look at the top here you will see that on this connection which is a regular 8-pin connection there are three connections for the yellow wires here and then there's a black one whereas on the other one there's four yellow connections and then on the other side there are black ones so this one won't actually fit inside the graphics or go into the graphics card because it's not meant to go in there this is a 150 watt connection whereas i believe this one is a 300 watt connection and they cheat a little bit they put in thicker cables here so um, yeah there is that this one will fit if i can make it go in yeah I don't want to click it because um, but I actually found that I can disconnect the cables here because these won't work that's not gonna go but I can disconnect the cables down here and then it will work I was kind of figuring out where to put this card so I started by I wanted it over here but then I realized if I put it over here I will have the ugly side up so I think for the aesthetics on this channel <coughs> We will um, we'll put it on the other side. Oh, I don't like these connections there. Okay, it went in. But if we put it over here, and I'm planning on just leaving the other graphics card there, that would be cool to have two. And then we can disconnect this cable, which we're gonna steal or borrow or whatever you wanna call it from the board. And of course, it's the one that is furthest away. I think we can manage. Take that up. There. I have actually already purchased uh, converter cables because I thought that I would have to go from, from these two cables and to the uh, eight pin. And that's the EPS cable. It stands for Express Power Cable that goes into the graphics card. But it came with a cable. Uh, the graphics card came with a cable, the one that I've just been showing you, where it has a normal 8-pin connection here, and it has the EPS cable here. We can put the normal one down into the system board, I believe, I hope. Otherwise, this is going to be a short video. There, can we fit that in there? Did they do something stupid here? That's not a standard cable for fuck's sake. Well, it's a standard cable, but it's not a standard cable. They don't have the same pin out, or do they? There is a special place in hell for people like me. I have modified this connection with a scalpel so that it will fit down the, the eight pin EPS connection. I have rounded this one and that one and that one and that one and I have removed something here 
that uh, prevented the connection to go in and I have I have the other connection right over here so you can see how it did look right here is square edges where you can so they weren't able to go in and here and there is no space between these two connections right there so um, I had to remove that uh, yeah and rounded that and rounded that and rounded that and rounded that so with the scalpel and a piece of sandpaper and we could just I did as much as possible with with the scape scalpel and then I had a piece of sandpaper it's it's almost broken up and I was able to take the sandpaper down here and move that forth and back and, and round it up a little bit more like that. I um, I asked on Twitter if this would be okay, if people would uh, would forgive me. So it might be ever so crowded in hell. <laughs> but yeah, let's go check this out. So here I have the connection or the cable. It should be a converter. This should plop into a normal uh, eight pin connection. I have marked this one that I've modified with some red tape because I've been a bad boy. You can see this one, that will go into the connection just fine. Um, oh, maybe you can't see that, but it does. It goes in uh, just fine. And this one now modified. Ah, That will as well go in. The other one that I haven't modified, this one is the connection that is supposed to go in there. It does not. It has all kind of obstacles that make sure that it's not supposed to go in there. But I have checked with the other cables here and it is the right pinout for an 8 pin connection. This one was going in there and works with this graphics card and this one that I'm putting in, um, it, it has the same pinout. Um, so that should be okay so let's put that over here where and then this one here yeah ninja hack i took out uh, the amd fire pro 7900 to fit this new one in here so we are <laughs> We are using a lot of power in this server now. Let's see if we can fit that in there. We can. We should probably give it a couple of screws up here. Tiny, tiny screws. And I hope you know that I'm not a fan of tiny screws. Alright, this will just give it both. Okay, not sure they're holding much. Oh, well, this is okay. There's not a lot of room for the, the bottom card here to, to suck in air. Um, so it's not a, not a perfect solution. Now we need to pull this through and power the card. There, powered. And now we can pop these in. Oh, that's a lot of, lot of graphic power right there. It would be cool if I could put some kind of a spacer right there. I'll figure out something. Ah, this, these power cables are in the way. Awesome, it's in there. As this GPU doesn't have a fan, it doesn't do very well with the lead off. So I'm gonna put the lid on and see if it sees our new card. There. We are ready to power on this server and anyone who follows my videos knows that this server is ninja quiet. So there is no issue there whatsoever. You can have this right under your bed. There's no problem whatsoever. And if you want to have it on your closet, you can also do that. But it, you will almost not hear it. It's actually not that bad. It's um, the Lenovo SR650 in the racks out there is, well, the, the noise level of that one is more irritating than this one at the moment. Um, it takes a while to, um, 
to find out what it's doing and get something on the screen. So I'll let this boot and get back. Okay, hey, server booted up. Um, I was actually doing something else and when I came back it has turned itself off and I booted it up again and now it's on. Well, weird, but it has found two new 3D video controllers and I'm guessing that that might just be what we are looking for. We still have the AMD Radiance in here. Um, funny enough, this one is AMD Radeon HD 5900 is pretty much similar um, in design as it's one GPU card but it has two GPU processors on it this is way older this is like 2010 and that one is like 2014 so okay maybe not way older four years four years is a lot in IT time so I have picked up the driver for it this is for Windows 10 I do hope it will work on this server 2019 but uh, we're gonna run that see if it picks up the the cart and it's gonna do its thing takes a while to unpack yeah we're watching progress bars together isn't this romantic it has installed close does it want to reboot oh I don't think so I think we are all happy it's happy Nvidia Tesla K80 awesome what do we see nothing really it works nice that was too easy. Uh, on this server we are testing render on my editing program and uh, I have never tried with the Tesla card on that. So for sure we're gonna try that. Let's see, we are in here. Not sure what had happened to the screen resolution but it has... I had kind of decided that everything had to be weird in here so we're just gonna do some stuff. Uh, this is a test video that I've been rendering out on multiple graphics cards. It's two minutes long and it renders out in uh, in uh, 4K and uh, we need to go in here and select the new graphics card and we do that on the video here. Right now it's it is using one of the AMD's. It's an AMD Radeon 6900 series so we're gonna pick one of the Teslas here and see how that goes it wants to restart the program we're gonna have to do that I have opened up GPU set on here as well so then we're gonna go to the sensors and here we can see the GPU load so when we start rendering out our video we can see if the GPU is actually doing anything or if it's just taking it easy in there so we have the project here let's just check if it has selected the right GPU we have a Tesla, also, okay, we're gonna render that out and save to hard drive and I have to select the right, um, I have my uh, very sophisticated test sheet here and uh, CPU only, this takes 11 minutes and 37 seconds and then there's the different uh, graphics cards uh, when they're helping and the fastest one is the AMD Radeon HD 6950 that I have in there and now we're gonna try this Tesla card instead it seems to have something NVIDIA here I think that is probably what we should select to use the NVIDIA card we're gonna try that and we're just gonna overwrite the existing file which it complains about here and let's see how it does GPU load Ah, it just did 4%. 0, 4, 3, 2. It's not doing a whole lot. Mm. 6%. 5%. Okay, that's gonna. This is gonna take a while, so uh, be right back. This is actually interesting. It's, it's not using, it's not telling me that the GPU load is much, but it has a video video engine load that goes up to 100% and then it goes down to zero and, and the time up here is really not bad right now. So it might be okay. Let's see how it does. Um, there are some graphics at the end where it often slows down. Okay, very well done. Eight minutes, 50 seconds. That is now a record. We'll just see the other one. Oh, we can't. 
I need some light. See the other numbers. So we cut off. We cut off 25 seconds. So that is really not too bad. Pretty happy with that. I couldn't help myself. I just installed uh, folding at home on this server, and it has all these GPUs. It has 26 cores. It's it's using. It has a little bit more than that, but um, yeah, it has the no less than five uh, GPU processors in here, and they're they're slowly starting up. This new version of folding at home is really good at detecting the GPUs and um, and putting them to work a bit closer. Now it says 376,000 and the other one, oh, almost 400,000 on that one. And then it dropped down, so, okay. This one, still ridiculously low. And that one as well. So that old GPU is not worth anything in here. This one hasn't gotten a job yet, so. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit to see how this does. Okay, I have moved ever so slightly further away from the server because it's noisy. I actually took out the other graphics cards. This one is the AMD Radeon HD 6950. Took that one out. It wasn't doing anything. It's as if um, it couldn't find a job. And I also took out this beast, the uh, AMD Radeon HD 5970. Um, wasn't worth it. It would do like 10,000 points a day. It's nothing. I measured the power usage with all of these cards in and it was about 850 watts. At the moment I only have the Nvidia Tesla K80 in there and the server is using about 710 watts which is also a lot of power. I just checked with CPU set. It is actually almost using 300 watts. But it's nice and cold, it's 51 degrees in there. So it's a bit shame that the server doesn't know that because it could really slow down the fans. It doesn't need to run that hard. Once again, thank you very much to my patrons for supporting me over at Patreon so that I can afford getting weird stuff like this and trying them out. Combined, those two Tesla cards does about 1.5 million points a day at folding at home. And as you could see, I shaved off 25 seconds on my video render, which is awesome. Also, this server was generously donated to me from Bargain Hardware in the UK. And if you go and check out Bargain Hardware and want some of their stuff, if you use the checkout code MYPLAYHOUSE at your checkout, you get 5% off of your purchase. So, do remember that. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.